Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. Back after a long hiatus from streaming, so uh, hope y'all are doing well. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while. Just kind of haven't been st feeling streaming lately, but uh, they they release new versions of the randomizer lately, so I've been kind of itching to play that lately. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a true ending randomizer run with all the items randomized and all the skips on. I've actually never done a randomizer with all the skips on. I don't ex exactly know how difficult spicy skips are, so hopefully they're not too crazy. <laughs> but um, it's going to be fun. I'm not going to be playing with cursed settings because I've kind of done it before and like I kind of feel they don't make it that much more difficult. It just kind of becomes like a bit more tedious. But I think this will be fun. I've been itching to play a randomizer, so it's been so long. Yeah, really has been. Bingo race? Yeah, it might be fun. We'll think about it. Hey, Jackman. Hey, Blue. Hey, Zeph. And Helen and Angel. Randomized everything. Curse nail, curse notches. No. I want to be able to use charms. So I actually did a test run, like five minutes ago just to make sure that the ui was working and i have this randomized notch cost setting on so whenever you pick up a charm it gets between a cost of one and six i think and i got one cost shaman stone on my first pickup and then i had to delete the save that was sad that was really sad <laughs> hey bug hey kai and anya and rua what's up Hope y'all are doing well today. Hey, Nemu. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to start the randomizer. I'm going to be using rando map mod today. So that's just a mod that essentially I'll, I'll just show it. So you can, there's a setting to get all the maps too, because it's kind of messed up without the maps. Let me make sure that is on reveal full map. Yes, that's the one. So, obviously, I know the map, so this isn't cheating, okay? I know the map already, but I just need to know where the checks are because I'm such a rando noob that... It... And there's, like, so much that gets randomized nowadays that it's, like, I'm always just deathly afraid that I'm going to miss the one key check that's going to be, like, the thing that I need to progress. Yo, Alexander, thanks so much for becoming a member Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for becoming a legend. So yeah, this uh, this mod just lets me. It shows me which checks I'm able to get to right now. So if you if you look to like to the center of the screen, you can see the Grimkin flame. Uh, that's a check, of course, but it's kind of like grayed out because I can't get the Grimkin flame right now because I don't have Grimchild. But if I did have Grimchild, then it would show up as like highlighted so that just shows me all the checks i can get to it doesn't show what the checks are like what items are there unless i turn on spoilers which is an option but i'm not going to use that <clears throat> cheating smh yes indeed you donated to yourself oh yeah yeah i was testing the alerts i was making sure the audio levels were good <laughs> hey Haley. Hell yeah. We love working from home. Played rando for like 50-ish hours. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many checks. Like, it used to just be like abilities and items, you know, like the stuff you'd buy from shops, charms, etc. But now it's like Geo Rocks, lore tablets. Like, it's just crazy. There's so many things that get randomized. Like, every single little circle here is potentially the item you need to continue progressing that's that's too much for my tiny brain to memorize <laughs> hey marion <laughs> nice guy okay enemy rando um i plan to do more challenge runs as streams just kind of like making up challenges so that's something that is definitely fun to do, I think. So, um, enemy randos are always on my radar. 
Uh, I'm going for the true ending. I want to do a God Home ending randomizer sometime, but um, World Sense. So World Sense just lets you see how much percent you have on the main menu. So it's extremely useful. <laughs> God Home ending is something that I want to do, but um, once I learn randomizer better, I think I might go for that. Oops, that's a stalactite. Oh, got a lore tablet. <laughs> so because there's so many lore tablets and geo rocks in the game, when you randomize them, it means that like half the drops that you get are gonna be geo rocks or lore tablets. <laughs> so it's really fun. Yeah, enemy randomizers are really funny. Well, let me know if there's any audio problems or anything. Uh, it's been a while, so a lot of my settings were lost, but I did test it pretty thoroughly before the stream, so it should be okay, hopefully. Best reward. I just want, I just want good charms because the charm notches are randomized, so. I want some OP charms. I want the one cost quick slash, the extra legacy quick slash. Okay, thanks, Ro. Game audio is a little bit too high. Okay, I can I can actually change that. Let me desolate dive. Oh. That's actually really nice to have, just for combat purposes. Oh, there's a check here. Oops. <laughs> That's important to get. Okay, I got all the King's Pass checks. <laughs> I just walked right past it. <laughs> Ooh, blue stream. Yeah, you can randomize so much stuff now, Sarah. That's crazy. Oh, did I... Did I not get an alert for that, Nemu? I think, like, continuing subs don't get alerts on YouTube. But thanks so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciate it. So I can actually equip Joni's Blessing and get a total of two extra... That's not really worth it. <laughs> Banana. Baby seed. I'm okay with baby seeds. What the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, soul totems are also randomized, so... Yeah, you can get these. You can pay one geo for a soul refill. Extremely useful. Uh, oh, wow. Zelda sucks. I'll get the seal, I guess. Uh, actually, I don't even want it right now, because... I'll probably have a lot of relics by the time I get to lamb anyway. Uh, okay. So, checks. There's the grub to the right that I can get, but I'll get that later. Oh, this is just a vanilla geo rock. So, I have pallet swapper on in case anyone's wondering what the colors are. That just randomizes the colors in the rooms. It's a very fun mod. Okay, let's let's check out what Grubfather has. Oh. Three cost quick focus. Not bad. Oh, there's actually like no progression items at Grubfather. Okay. Usually there's something. That's just that just means I'll like return to Grubfather later when I want like a relic or two. <laughs> Yeah, the room colors are nice. I really like Pallet Swapper. So, let's get this Geo Rock, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a lore tablet to the left. Oh yeah, that's just that's just on the way to Green Path. May as well pick that up now while I'm here. 
I always forget about this lore tab. <sighs> I always forget about that lore tablet. But I have actually lost a speedrun to accidentally hitting up on that lore tablet. <laughs> so that's the only reason why I remember it. Thanks, Cornifer. Uh, there's a lot of checks around brooding Moloch. I don't want to do it right now, though. I'll probably... Oh, I have Desolate Dive, so Brooding Moloch shouldn't be that bad. I'm doing pretty well today, Blue. Thank you. Oh, Monomon. Okay. And how are you doing? Oh, no, I have Infected Crossroads. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, when you pick up a Dreamer... You get infected crossroads. Fuck. It's not. It's not good. Oh my god. Okay. We got past him. <laughs> now I can't go to ancestral. Uh, I. I think it still lets you. Oh fuck. Oh my god. I want to get hit by that explosion. Oh, the bubbly skip into the, that's into fungal waste, right? Uh, I don't make any of the mods. I, well, I'm, oh, what the hell is this? This is just like in the thumbnail. <laughs> Gross. Um, yeah, I don't make any of the mods. I made a couple mods just for like multiplayer use. Like, um, some of the stuff that, like, gives you invincibility and stuff like that. But they, they don't really have any purpose outside of the games that we play. Uh, but if you want the mods, uh, like, the randomizer stuff is all on the speedrunning Discord. So if you go to speedrun.com, you can find the Discord for Hollow Knight. And uh, otherwise, uh, you can find the mod installer on the HK main Discord, which is at discord.gg slash hollow knight. I'm glad. Oh shit, god. I'm glad I have Desolate Dive. I should probably just use this Vengefly King. Vengefly King? Uh, Vengefly to pogo up. Let me, let me actually respawn that Vengefly so I can pogo up to get the Mask Shard. Check. <laughs> no, that's SFG. No trans trans. Yeah. Should probably get that. I actually don't even have it on my computer. Oh god. I just want soul from this guy. So I might need to heal here. Yeah, Hollow Knight has a really active modding community. Which is awesome. I also have the egg shop on. I think that means that when you, like, get eggs, you can trade them in or something. Is that right? Like, when you, when you go to Tuck. It is Tuck, right? I think so. God, I know nothing about this game. <laughs> Oh, nice, Blue. That's really sick. There's nothing up here. Oh my god. Uh oh So yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna... The next thing I might stream might be, uh... Pantheon 5 with... Uh, Nightmare Spikes. I'm gonna release a video on Nightmare Spikes soon, so you'll see what I mean. But I did a video with the Nightmare Spikes mod, like, a quite a while ago. It was like a pure vessel video. Oh, my god. I just want this check. Let me get this, please. Thank you. 
but it just spawns nightmare spikes every two seconds. Oh no, I have to go to Grust Mother. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. Got infected crossroads. Fun stuff. Oh shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I got Monomon on the way to the like acid skip grub. So that was fun. Uh, I guess I'll kill Grass Mother. A lot of the boss mods are fun to check out too. Like some of them are just really hard. I would recommend probably Absolute Inferno King Grim or just like regular Inferno King Grim. Those are pretty good mods. Let me, let me get Sly while I'm here. It is fun, trust me. The fun in quotations is Nightmare God Grim. That's that's not fun. Well, I mean, it's still it's still a little bit fun, honestly. When I first tried it, it was painful, but then I waited like a year and played it again. Oh, I got another Dreamer. Okay. Now my crossroads are extra infected. But when I when I tried Nightmare God Grim again after like a year or so. It was a lot more reasonable, especially because people made strats for it, like camping the corner. It's so much easier if you camp the corner for that fight. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play Room Rando ever. Like, it gets suggested a lot, but like, god, it just seems really painful. Like, I definitely prefer things to be, like, mechanically challenging over having to, like, spend a lot of time, like, thinking. Because I, I will definitely just, like, get lost and stare at the screen like a dummy. And that probably wouldn't be a fun stream experience. Yeah, any Radiance is fun. It can be really frustrating, of course, but it's fun. Okay. So you actually get a free check if you go to Dirt Mill. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I have Green Path. I forgot about that. There's always checks at these stags. Because the... Oh, Geo Rock. Because um, the, the stags are randomized. So if you go to the stags, then you can get an item. Just Geo. <laughs> Pick up the bench. And I'll check the relic over here. Zuta! Oh, thanks a lot, JDev, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot, JDev. Oops. I'll probably kill Hornet too, because killing Hornet's fun. Let's kill Hornet. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, like you're so used to the way that things are, and then things aren't that way anymore. cloak. You can actually get two checks from this. Because killing bosses gets you a check. The maps are not too useful right now, though. Because <laughs> I, I use... Well, I mean, the maps are never that useful, but I used random map mod to get the maps already. I'll buy this just to, like... Oh, this... Oh, I get 160. Okay. I always, I always mix them up, like, which number I get and which number I have to pay. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, let's go back to crossroads. Oh, I oops. Do not want unlock all on. Oh, why can't I un uncheck it? Uh, <clears throat> I should be able. I can't access the bench warp menu for some reason. Well, I guess I'll have to remember what. I wonder what mod is interfering. Is it randomizer? Because there's something in the way of this button right now. That is unfortunate. It's not debug. Because debug always works with bench warp. Re enter the save. Okay, I'll try that. Thanks, Helen. Because uh, if, I, if I don't have that setting off, then I won't be able to remember which. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ellen. Then I, I won't be able to remember which uh, benches I actually have, which is important because randomizer actually requires bench warp because you can get stuck without it. So this is pain. Oh, oh no, I get 25. Okay, I just wasted 25 Geo. <laughs> hey, nachos. Oh, I'm glad it does, JDF. I got a new computer semi recently because like I found that my old computer wasn't performing that well with streams. Now this this computer sometimes gets a uh, blue screen of deaths randomly, which is really whack, but it's much more powerful at least. <laughs> Yeah, you can soft lock yourself, which is not fun. Yeah, it's a really good skin. Um, Killer Whale. Uh, God, I forget who made it, but it's an awesome skin. Should probably write that in the description if I know I'm going to use the skin. <laughs> Gotta give credit. It's even got, like, some charms as well, which is really cool. Like some charm sprites. Just casual super chatted $20. Oh, thanks so much. Since I've been able to catch a stream and even after all this time, I still can't beat NKG. Oh, that's valid. NKG is really hard. I like really struggled with NKG my first time. Thanks a lot, though, just casual. And uh, yeah, it's probably because I haven't been streaming lately. <laughs> I've been like really lazy about streams, just like haven't been motivated to stream anything. More tablet. But thank you very much. I actually got really frustrated the first time I tried to do NKG. That is not an easy boss. Uh, okay, how do I get to ancient maps? <laughs> oh yeah, I think the opening on the left opens up. Uh, okay, so I should definitely go to ancient mounds. Probably brooding Moloch too. Let me check, let me check uh, outside fungal waste because there's a bunch of geo rocks there as well. I really want some charms. Hey, Leogi. Oh yeah, like there's so much to do with making a skin. Oh. Thanks a lot, Nick Pick, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. So, wait, wait, you, you can make this. Oh, you have to pogo this, this, and then, oh. Okay. Yeah, I remember I've done that before. It's been quite a while though. 
That's the infection skip. The skips that people find for a randomizer are really cool. Like, they find some bonkers skips. Yeah, I don't think that's possible, though. Can I do the uh, this thing? Yeah, it looks like I can. Oh, the checks are just right here. Okay. Oh, King's Brand. We can go in the abyss eventually. Okay. <laughs> I do not need the lore. Working on skin is exhausting. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't imagine. Like, it just looks like so much work. Like... Just really big shout outs to the people that make skins because it is a lot of work. Like I got oh. Thanks a lot, Creative Corner, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Like I was gonna say, I've considered commissioning someone to make a skin for me, but I don't feel like there's a fair amount that I could pay them, <laughs> you know, like for the amount of work that's being done, I feel like a fair payment would be like $500 or something. And that's, that's an awful lot. Uh, okay, there's the Geo Rock above me. Oh, did I miss a Geo Rock? No, I didn't. I got the one in the other room. Soul Totem over here somewhere. Oops, what the heck? God gamer skin. I just I just want a regular vessel with the graduation cap. Oops. <laughs> what? Okay, I need to stop. Stop looking at chat. <laughs> okay. We're safe. Like with, with NKG, a lot of the... A lot of the time, you just really want to dash away from a lot of its attacks. And, um, you can punish the columns really hard if you have quick slash and steady body. Yeah, McCallie. such a huge project that it makes sense of course uh oh yeah i have to go into ancient mound it's a path of pain possible with an ability missing uh actually i'm not sure really you can do it without dash i got all the checks with brooding moloch Around Brooding Moloch, I think. Unless there's one or not on the map. Oh my god, Nemu. <laughs> Thank you so much. For the fire stream which he is not motivated to do not like this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nemu. That's super kind of you. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> I'll definitely try to motivate myself to do more streams. Streaming is really fun. I just sometimes feel like I don't have good ideas for the streams. So I'm just like doing this stream. It's just a chill stream. I don't even, you know, 
usually I feel like I should have some kind of challenge or something to entice people, but just a regular randomizer is pretty fun too, I think. It's like really satisfying to just like watch people get the items and see kind of how the run progresses. Know what I'm saying? Oh, two cost, high blood. Oh, I don't want to do a contest because I kind of feel like that's unfair to the people who like put a ton of work into Oh, Dream Nail. I don't want, especially like the, because you know, with a contest, you're choosing like one person. It really sucks if you don't get chosen, especially because like if you're putting the amount of time in to make a skin, then that's a ton of work. Have I finished Subnautica 2? No, after I streamed, I did not open the game again. <laughs> and I had fun with it. It's just like sometimes I just don't feel like playing, like finishing a game. I'm like really bad for that. <laughs> hey, Fractal. Oh, I need to watch my health. Yeah, just chilling. It's fun too. Randomizer is probably the best thing to chill with because chilling with speedruns is pretty hard. I always, I always like when I speedrun, I really want to improve. Like that's always what drives me to come back and play more. And improving in speedruns is like all about just focusing super hard and practicing a ton. Soul rebuild. Oh, I can actually. Fractal Muse super chatted in GN2000. Oh, thanks so much, Fractal Muse. <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, that's cool, Creative Corner. I hope that goes well for you. Hope you have fun with that. Definitely, like, when you're making a YouTube channel. When you're starting out, I just recommend having fun with it. It took me like 10 years of YouTube being like an occasional hobby before I got to this point. Like I only did Hollow Knight for a few years, but I was doing like other random stuff. Like I made mi Minecraft videos for a bit, posted classical music videos, which you can actually still see on the channel. And I posted like Tribes Ascend videos for a while. <laughs> and Smash Bros, like, melee videos for a while. Just because I really like making videos. It's fun. Yeah, it's like some of the first videos on my channel, Blue. Uh, don't go in expecting anything good, but, you know. Oh, I... I, need, I think I need to hit those a few times so that they disappear from the map. Oh, I forgot to check, too. Oops. Do you like the sense of isolation and mystery? Yeah, I do feel like that was a lot less in the second game. And that was, that was definitely one of the things that hooked me in the first... You played Tribes Row, nice. That was an awesome game, I really loved it. I only played Ascend, not like the earlier ones, but Ascend was really fun. Just casually super chatted $10. I have a challenge for you. Be 10 kg using only the nail and over charm with only useless charms. Overcharmed with only useless charms. <laughs> nice. I actually think that wouldn't be too hard for me. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the donation. Oh my god. <laughs> we, can we beat the game? <laughs> we, we can beat the game. What the hell? Let's, let's go finish the game now. <laughs> yeah, 
like a, that would be a relatively easy um challenge there's actually a challenge yeah i am doing te but i still want to go into the black egg temple just to kind of eat on the game <laughs> There's a challenge someone did recently where they beat NKG using only Crystal Heart. Because Crystal Heart, when you when you just start doing the dash, it'll actually damage, like, behind you. Well, it damages the whole time, but the easiest time to hit the boss is, like, when you start the Crystal Dash. <laughs> so that's, that's definitely fun. Oh. <laughs> the Unchosen One Super Chatted $5. Yogi teaches me something new every day about these messages. We're the same person, I swear. <laughs> Wait, what's what's? Whoa! Oh, that was Leogi's message. Oh, thanks, thanks a lot, Leogi, for becoming a legend again. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Even though you're a mod, but you know, welcome. <laughs> and thanks a lot, Kai, as well. And thank you very much, Coco. We're the same person, I swear. <laughs> okay, what what charm was this? Oh, Fury of the Fallen. Okay, and there is actually a check here in Randomizer. So, do we get a check from killing THK? I don't think we do, but... <laughs> yeah, this was a crazy fast Randomizer. If I was doing any percent, which I'm not. I'm doing true ending. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot THK is fast on this patch. Let's heal up. If this were like an 80% rando and I finished... Oh, shit. And I finished it in Crossroads, that would be crazy. Nemesis Super chatted 25 Hong Kong dollars. Fire of Zero R and Speedruns Hollow Knight Randomizer. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nemo. See, THK is not that bad. As long as you save soul to heal up whenever you stagger THK, it's not too bad of a fight. Or if you just go in with all the charms and... Oh, oops. Missed time the parry. If you just go in with all the charms and everything, it's also not too bad. Wait, didn't I get hit? I guess I must have healed up. Oh no, I have Hive Blood. I forgot. I have the two cost Hive Blood. <laughs> oh, it's all good, Buck. No worries. You have to wait until THK stops stabbing itself. Because when THK is stabbing itself, it only takes one damage. Could have scream skipped there if I was a bit more on the ball. Oops. There we go. That's the randomizer run. Hope y'all enjoyed watching. <laughs> I don't get an item for this at all. It's unfortunate. Oh no, I'm gonna get the credits. Uh oh. No, we have to wait through the credits. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I get getting no abilities, but descending or uh, desolate dive. <laughs> you don't need dash, claw, double jump, or C dash. No. I actually haven't seen something like this before. Just ending the game this quickly with randomizer. Like, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, I wasn't trying to go fast. I was just like, oh, I've got three dreamers. And I'm not even out of crossroads. 
<laughs> New world record pog. <laughs> okay, so we are going for true ending, so we're going to continue the run, of course. Um, so I have a couple stags. I can go through green path. Green path is a pretty good bet. Could also do fungal wastes because you can do that uh, infection skip. But there's a lot of grayed out checks in fungal wastes. Not so many in green path. So let's go to green path. 35 minutes and 9%. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now the game just needs to give me void heart. And... Wait, do you need anything other than... Like, you need void heart and, like, a way to do radiance, right? Is that all you need? I think you need to go through the stages of uh, King Soul. Yeah, Leg Eater's really good. Oh, I do have a lot of Geo, so that's a good point. Going to Leg Eater would be a good idea. Oh. Two checks. Rancid egg. Rancid egg, okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Need claw for radiance, yeah. I'm gonna... What should I do? There's a lore tab... Oh yeah, there's a lore tablet. There's a lore tablet that's like hidden here. It's like in a secret spot. Oh, good thing I checked that. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm using Split Cloak and Split Claw in this randomizer, which means that you only get it for one direction. You have to find both directions, like, independently. So once we once we go to the abyss, we'll be able to check the howling rights check. Yeah, radiance without shade cloaks. Okay, I've got any rad any rad experience, so it should be all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's I can do these checks, right? I think I might need to do um, spell stalls to get over to the right. We'll see. Super chatted five pounds. In for void heart is in path of pain. Thanks a lot, QQ. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh shit! God. Oops. Green Path is stacked. Hell yeah. Forgotten Crossroads and Green Path have been pretty stacked. Oh, that's that's really hard. Oh god. Can I do this? No, I don't. I don't know about that one. Oh, you probably have to shade skip. We'll save this for later then. I don't see I don't see that being doable with spell stalls, even like with perfect execution. Hmm. Yeah, any, any Radiance is the really difficult modded one. He will actually kill you. That is right. Oh, five cost Thorns of Agony. <laughs> perfect. I wouldn't use Thorns of Agony for one charm notch, let alone five. <laughs> hey, Milk. Uh, okay, so there's two checks. Oh, oh god, I got snipes. <laughs> oh, this is. Is this an infinite totem? Oh, this is a 
half the pain totem. Yo. Some of those are the overpowered totems. <laughs> Lawrence of Acne was zero cost. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> That Geo Rock's not gonna disappear from the map because it's an infinite totem. Sag. Nope. Get out of here, grub. Oh, is, is there something else here? So... I'm I'm looking at the the check in the bottom left of this room. Is there is there another check or was it just the grub? I think it was just the grub, right? <laughs> okay, this is just a soul totem. I like to hit them so that they disappear from the map. Oh, I, I'm in the other room. Super chatted to Hong Kong dollars. Um, this is for over charm with useless charm in KG. Yeah, I can use the five cost thorns of agony. Easy overcharm. <laughs> Thanks, Nimu. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong room. I was looking at the room to the right, I think. So there's a check here. 35 essence. Not bad. Uh, so I need to go up for these checks. Rue is pretty cool. Go to bed, bug. Did I forget I have left Dash? Yes. Expect expect more forgetfulness. <laughs> I can get that relic. Six cost compass. Sweet. Sweet homothity. No fireball. Homothity shriek. Some new tech. Uh, this, yeah, there's a check at the top of this room. The tint in this room is so jarring. <laughs> Yo, thanks so much, Fight Five. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Oh God. Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna go to the fireball. Oh, this is the fireball skip room. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I know the Hollow Knight map. <laughs> oh my god, so many Geo Rocks and Soul Totems. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, there is the Geo Rock down here. Of course, it's a vanilla Geo Rock. Hope you all are ready for complaints about too many fucking Geo Rocks. <laughs> There's also a hidden lore tablet here, I think. Where is it? Do you need claw for this? It looks like you don't. Oh, I think you might need to do a. Oh, oh no, it's right here. Okay. I was thinking it was straight up. Oh, elevator pass. So, uh, elevator pass is a randomized, like a randomizer specific item. And it just lets you use the elevators around City of Tears. Like, not the City of Tears elevators, but the elevators that lead to City of Tears. Oh, King Station. Nice. Uh, so I think I'll go get this bench and the Geo Rock. Too many Geo Rocks. Yeah, I have really been meaning to play Outer Wilds, especially like with the DLC. Everyone says it's really good. Red Path. <laughs> it really is Red Path.
Uh, okay, that's all the checks. So I'm gonna just do a loop around like the intended route for Green Path. Get all those checks. It is, it is really good. <laughs> Uh, and I also know nothing about the game. Like, I haven't been spoiled on it yet somehow, even though I've so many people have heard about it or spoken about it. I've heard about it from so many people. Yeah, Un just wants to give me so much Geo. Yeah. I actually like I would welcome compass right now even if it was five or six cost because just like being able to see yourself on the map so you can see the checks is really nice I really should have left uh, a bench fly for me to pogo Um, is there a ventral light to the left still? Because I want one to pogo up to that other check. I think I got rid of all the ventral lights. Do the ventral lights respawn? No, oh, I can get up there. Thanks. Go up the top right. Oh, go up to the right. There's a hidden rock in the ceiling. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know about this. Oh. Never, never used that before. <laughs> well, I found the creative solution. things in this room. Gotta check the grub as well. And the hunter. Doesn't know the vanilla way. <laughs> I do not. I know the speedrunner way only. <laughs> Strats are boring. Agreed. Oops. <sighs> Vanilla grub. Oh, that's a mimic. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That was scary. Did not expect it to be able to move through those platforms. <laughs> Green path is stacked. Holy shit. Yeah, getting getting both Mothwing cloaks in Green Path is suitable, I guess. Thanks a lot, Hayden, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Mimics are randomized? Yeah, that's uh I think that's a new option in the latest randomizer. God, I hate those things. <laughs> yep. Me too. I can get thorns, thorns of agony now too. Uh, oops. yeah, thorns of agony time. Oh, oh, that would have been cool. I wasn't sure if I could pogo that lamp on this batch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't tell if the grubs are real or not. So you actually have an excuse not to save them. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that one room in Deep Nest. That's true. With like four mimics or three mimics. I forgot. Whee! Nim super chatted 50 Hong Kong dollars. Then do you like grubs more or mimics more? Um, you can hit mimics for soul. So I like mimics a little bit more, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Nimu. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go get all those checks in stone stones. Do I have dream nail? Oh, I do. So I'll do all of that. And I'm going to make sure I get this. This is where the bench is, right? Yeah. I'm going to get this. May as well equip Fury, I guess. Like, there's no reason not to. Even though I have Hive Blood. <laughs> How's the day going? Oh, thanks a lot, Laser Guy. Oh, I have the notifications up here. I'm so not used to streaming. It's going pretty well so far. I just kind of woke up and got prepped for the stream. It took me quite a while to get prepped because, uh,. I had to double check everything because I'm always afraid of technical issues. So I spent like a full hour prepping. But it's been pretty nice so far. Thank you very much. Hope your day is going well too. Oh, I can't do no eyes without lantern. But I do have hard skips on, so I kind of have to do the dark room. Oh man. It's like, oh yeah, there's spikes up there, so I have to watch that. I fully assume that I'm not going to make this first try, but, oh my god, come on. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh. Oh man, this is hard. So, oh. Okay, and then there's spikes. Dave James super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. True ending means getting Mr. Mushroom right. God damn it. True ending. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No Mr. Mushroom. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> I'm. There's no way I'm doing Mr. Mushroom. It's Mr. I guess Mr. Mushroom doesn't give you any items, so it couldn't be randomized. That would be funny if it was. <laughs> Man, that was at the very end of the room. <laughs> okay. We made it. Oh, it was actually worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am all right with that. Holy crap, my mouse. OOT rando. I've actually never seen Ocarina of Time rando. I've just seen A Link to the Past and it seems like a really good game for randomizer. Those are like the only two Zelda games I've played also. Hey, Python Knight. <laughs> the lore tablets for Mr. Mushroom? Uh, maybe? I'm actually not sure. Jump over me, I dare you. seem like it would be really fun just based off like a link to the past rando which i've watched a little bit of oops there's something down here right triforce hunt option what is that tons of options Whew. yeah i imagine like because the community gets so big it would just be like uh hk randomizer where there's oh, 
just more and more options added over time. Because they, like, they want to keep things fresh. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Super Metroid and Link to the Past randomizer. <laughs> That's seriously like the funniest idea ever. Like for those who don't know, it just like switches between the two games and you have to like progress in both of them to actually complete the randomizer. Like I think it's between rooms. Is that is that it? Like between rooms it switches? forget because I've only seen it once but it's like a really funny concept mm. oh I missed a geo rock oops hides pieces of the triforce around ocarina of time you have to find them to beat the game oh yeah I think in different wind conditions in randomizer can really add to the experience because like the same wind condition every time can get pretty stale. Oh, okay, here it is. Oh, that's that's a good check. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go to Fungal now. Or uh, I guess I'll just go through Fog Canyon. Yeah, I think that's the one I saw, Rua. Okay, gotcha, Leogi. Oh yeah, Michele, you tried to tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, I really hope there's a, like, I'm, I'm sure there will be a Silk Song randomizer eventually. And I definitely like, when randomizer for Hollow Knight came out, I, I was actually pretty active, but then I, I just kind of like went back to speed running and lost all my randomizer experience we were actually doing like uh randomizer team bingo like lockout bingo and that was super fun back before like you'd have randomized items but you'd also like be competing to get bingo objectives before the other team that was really fun And I've tried to do things like that. I think we did it one time um, with like multiplayer, but there's also like not that much PVP because uh, like obviously the map is so huge. Oh yeah, I'm glad glad you liked the video, Miguelie. Like I I have no idea if that's like actually gonna be a release date, but it is kind of sketchy that, like, they changed the date multiple times recently. Like, it could just be because it was a placeholder date and they didn't want anyone to see the placeholder date, but it could be because it's the real date and they don't want anyone to see the real date. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to know, but it is kind of cool news regardless. <laughs> yeah, the bingo can be pretty pretty tough like bingo matches when the other team can just like get an objective first. I actually don't remember if we played lockout, but like it, it can be really tough to like figure out what you can get and like communicate it. Yeah, I do think the date makes sense, for sure. Like, I, I I think it's totally plausible that it's the real release date. I don't think it's likely, but plausible. Oh god. I'd give it like a solid 1 in 5 chance. Uh, 
Uh, no, not today, because I I have a bunch of stuff to do today. But like maybe in the future. Yeah, there's uh, there is a release date for Silk Song. Is there anything in this room? There is a release date for Silk Song that was um in the NVIDIA GeForce Now database, which is like a it's like a cloud streaming service. So like instead of playing a game on your device, the game is played on someone else's, like on NVIDIA's server, and it gets streamed to your computer. So it's kind of I forget what the equivalent services are, but basically just like the gameplay gets streamed to your computer and you play it through someone else's hardware. But um, within that services database... Oh, left Mantis Claw. Nice. Now am I going to get right Mantis Claw and Fungal too? Perhaps. But um, yeah. There is a release date for Silk Song in that database because the whole database got leaked just because someone managed to find a way to access the server for stuff that hasn't been released yet. Stadia, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you wish the Silk Song would take longer. I'm actually, I'm okay either way. I'm I'm still having fun playing Hollow Knight. I still think there's like tons of stuff for me to do, so I'm happy either way. It's three cost? Three cost deep focus is not bad, actually. Oh yeah, there was a release date in the database and um Yeah. The the release date also got changed after the database got leaked. Two times, I think, if I recall correctly. So that's, like, weird. Oops. Ouch. That hurt. Oh, Charm Notch. And, yeah, the release date was, like, February 1st, I think, next year. But yeah, no confirmation at all that that's the case, of course. Although someone did point out that last time there was like a release date for Silk Song leaked, I think Leth actually came out and denied it. Don't quote me on that because I haven't confirmed it, but I think uh, someone said that. Leth did not deny this release date. Okay. Have a nice day, Leogi. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, one cost. That is good. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather them take their time and, you know, make a, make a really good game. Because, uh, I don't know how many of you, like, picked up Hollow Knight early in its, <laughs> in its development, because, uh, the early patches of Hollow Knight were really rough. Performance-wise, the game was just so laggy and, like, full of glitches. And, I mean, it makes sense. Like, it's a really ambitious game. And, uh, Team Cherry, I guess, like, are new to making this kind of thing. But, yeah. Hopefully, Silk Song doesn't end up like that. I also think Team Cherry has, like, a bit of a... They kind of rush their patches sometimes. Like, it kind of shows with even, like, the latest patch. So, hope hopefully... I assume this is why they're taking their times, so that, like, from the get-go, it's up to the standards that exist for Hollow Knight now. <clears throat> You know, we'll see. I just hope the game's good. Even if they need patches. Oh, one cost gathering swarm. It's not bad. Even if they need patches, you know, it's... It is what it is. Game doesn't need to be perfect. 
as long as it's good. And it looks really good. <laughs> the beta <laughs> exactly yeah yeah they, they don't have like a big team it's just like Leth, Ari, and William I think I think oh, I think they have a programmer now unless it's I, I don't know I think they do have like a dedicated programmer but yeah it's you know just not many people. Lore tablets. I don't I don't read lore. <laughs> Jack. Okay. I actually didn't know the person's name. I always just think of Team Cherry as like Ari and William. Uh I didn't even mean to fall down there. May as well just do Mantis Lords while I'm here. Is there anything above? No, I don't think there is. Oh, there is something here though. Five cost glowing room, hell yeah. Wow, really, Mel? Very cool. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, you can wall jump off this door. Okay. I was wondering how I could get up here with just the left claw. The super secret lifeblood cocoon that no one finds in their casual playthrough. There was something to the left. Okay, I'll check that on my way up. Is easy with with uh, shriek. <laughs> oh, I I don't think I can get up. This is just like for for if you have wings, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I wonder if there's anything to the left here. Yeah, it is a cool hidden room. There, there are some checks I can get here. I guess I may as well just go. <laughs> I feel like I should full clear fungal before I go on though, because otherwise I'm just gonna, otherwise it's just so messy. If you just like leave a couple checks behind. Oh man, where the hell are the geo rocks in here? <laughs> and I need to get right claw from fungal waste because we all know it's there. Uh, okay, where even am I? Okay, that's where I am. So there's Cornifer. Cornifer is like up, right? Yes. Lore tablet. <laughs> Perfect. Fungal blues. Violet Depths Red Path. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I am gonna go back to Fungal. Oops. Did I just... Okay. 
Uh, leg eater, yeah. Hmm. So I think if I go, oh yeah, I need to get that uh, lore tablet right before the city, city crest thing. funny because like I swear what's gonna happen is it's gonna take me like forever to get the king soul fragments even though I got any percent in like 30 minutes <laughs> uh, I'm not sure McKelly maybe someone in chat knows uh, so, okay I'll I should actually get these now because I can't get this from the left because of that lever. Oh, lantern. <laughs> that, that's pretty useful for deep nest. Three hundred geo. I'm just gonna hit this lever, and then I'm gonna go down toward um, Dash Master. And I also need to get the uh, Mantis Lord rewards, of course. But yeah, I'll go this way first. There's so, so many checks. With uh, everything randomized here. Oh, stag nest stag. That's good. I'll check that next time I get to a stag. What is going on in chat? Rock map. I'm gonna grab this bench just so I can warp back to it. <laughs> oh, they are checks. Okay. So getting Spore Shroom is actually like a lot of checks, even though it's, it'll take a while. Okay, is this doable? Do I even need this? looks like it's n not doable. Maybe doable. It's like almost doable. <laughs> the, uh, you can actually air stall by opening your map. I don't think that's intended. <laughs> warp out of here. Doable if you dash in the other direction. I don't have right claw, though. It's the, the pain of having split claw. I need to fireball skip. Oh, God. Can also sink in water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inventory dropping into water and getting like float. It's always fun. Okay. Where. Where is the. Oops. <laughs> there is another check in here. I don't think it's up here. Nope. Oh, how did 
I miss this? Rancid egg. Oops. What do we got? What do we got? Soul refill. <laughs> God damn. Uh, so I may as well get the bench. I don't think I'll ever use this bench, but I'll just grab it just in case. Mm, okay. Now I'll go Queen Station. I'll get those five checks just so I have everything from Fungal that I can currently get. And then I think I'm going to go... Let's actually just go Stag Nest. And I can go Resting Grounds, because there's going to be a lot of checks in the crypts. Wait, so do I get 35? I, I think this costs 300. Let me double check. Okay, the cost is on the bottom, right? Yes. Okay, so that was not a good trade. Cost is on the bottom, I have to remember. Zero cost fluke. I don't even have uh I don't even have VS. <laughs> there is a check up here, I think. Probably be easier to use the elevator. Oh I don't know if Oh yeah, I can because I have claw. That's fine. Oh, there is no check over here. It's just an an egg. Eggshell. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> I got scammed. Happened this way too often. I guess I'll just do cliffs. Get down here, Gorb. Time to ascend. <laughs> really sound financial decision. Thank you, Blue. Okay. Oops. Oops. Oh, there's the fourth dreamer. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's check the nail master. Whichever nail master it is, because I always forget which one is which. Which one is this nail master? Motto. Okay. Oh, nice. BS. Could have bought an NFT. Yeah, at least I didn't buy an NFT. <laughs> yeah, the race animation is awesome with the skin. Okay, let's equip that. That's probably good. Could get the one co zero cost fluke nest. Mmm. Sure, why not? Let's just equip it for fun. Uh, okay, all the checks are to the left. <laughs> Fish. Perfect. Oh, a sports room. I guess I should equip that. Because I, I don't know where the Mr. Mushroom checks are. I know there's one, at least one in Fungal. Uh, where, where's Sports Room? Here. Oh, 
I didn't even catch that, McKelly. He taught me the art of fireballs. <laughs> I mean, that's almost suitable. I think I'll go to the right first. Oh, I have lantern. May as well just grab this so it's off the map. <laughs> Super chatted 100 Hong Kong dollars. It's late, so I gonna sleep. Still need to go to work tomorrow. Good luck and have fun. Okay. Have a nice rest, Nemu. Thanks so much. Really, really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am. I am content with vengeful spirit. Ugh. Grip. Still need to get right claw from fungal waste. I really would like right claw. It just makes things a little, a little bit less awkward. Uh, I think there's a geo rock next to the grim. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Howling Cliffs map. <laughs> Oh, I got three flames. Oh, Dream Gate. Okay. I'll have to remember to use that. But, you know, spoiler, I'm never going to remember to use that. Just Dream Gate is too much for my brain. uses they them pronouns only had left items that's funny though div wait what do you mean is that, is that another thing I forget because it probably is <laughs> Let me find these geo rocks. Oop. Ah, wish I had right claw. <laughs> uh, where is this geo rock? Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's just so easy to forget that you have items in randomizer. Where is this geo rock? It looks like it's actually down into the right somewhere. It's up into the right of the whispering root. Okay, maybe it's maybe I just haven't gone far down enough yet. But the whispering root is oh. What the hell? Why was it all the way down here? Oh, the whispering root is there. Oh, th thanks a lot, Tommy. <laughs> well, welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. 
Okay, let's get this relic. Just, there's too many items randomized. <laughs> this, like, given that I need three specific increments of the King's Soul Charm, because I need Void Heart to get True Ending, and uh, the way that items like that work is you need to increment it, so you need to find King Soul three times to get Void Heart, essentially. Or like, if you find Void Heart first, it counts as King Soul, so you just need to find three items to get King Soul. And those, like, that's some really specific items. Th those are really specific things that you need. You know, it's not like the Dreamers, because the Dreamers, you have an extra one that you can get, which I've already gotten all four of, but no King Soul. <laughs> but I, I guess it is good in a sense that I at least have one of the conditions to get True Ending. Don't worry, Fire, I have Void Heart, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> I need Void Heart. Okay, um... I'm, that Geo check is... a Soul Totem. I remember that. Oh, I forgot that Relic outside Stone Sanctuary. Let me, let me get that. <clears throat> that Relic is so easy to forget about it, because it's just in the most well-hidden spot possible. <clears throat> I can't escape it, so I embrace it. Yeah, you have no choice, really. Uh... Oh. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if I could get that wall cling. Uh... Okay, so I have left gloss, so I can actually get the stuff in that big room with the grub after massive moss charger. So I'm going to I'm going to just going to go there. You know, like with randomizer, it actually tends to place key items behind like stuff that just got unlocked. At least that's how it used to work. So like if you just get like uh, an item that allows you to find something else, you should probably try to use that new item that you just got. Hopefully I explained that properly. <laughs> Oops. God. Oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have the S, don't I? Oh, that's not a grub. No, oh, it's stuck. Oh, you can't dream mail them? That's interesting. Okay, nothing here. Oh, I can do no eyes now. Let's just do no eyes. Why not? Could could be a check because could be a good check because uh, it requires lantern and dream nail. And I got lantern kind of recently. How can you not swim? That's a good point. But yeah, swim is randomized with this. So like you don't start with the ability to swim in water. You have to find it. If you try to jump into water, you'll just uh, take damage. Kind of like acid until you find swim. Oh, no eyes teleports from flukes? I don't think that used to happen. Oops. going pretty well um <laughs> i've gotten four dreamers but no king soul yet 
but I do have left and right dash. So, you know, as long as I have dash, I'm pretty happy. I've also got left claw. And I'm going back to fungal waste because I suspect right claw is there. Based off no reasoning whatsoever, but hopefully it is. So I'm going to go toward deep nest, I think. Oh yeah, I can get this. Oh, it's just a grub. Oh, can I? I... I cannot get this. <laughs> I can get most of the way. Well, I am sorry, Grubby. Yeah, if I got right claw or double jump, it would open up quite a lot, I think. And I've got spore shroom. Get out of here, Corpor. <laughs> gotta scam me. Oh, you have to hit him. Right, 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 right. Oh, it's... Hmm? Do you have to do something else for the item? Or... Oh, what? What the heck? Why is there an item there? <laughs> yeah, I think... I think with Dash Slash, or maybe even Cyclone Slash, you'd probably free that grub. Lore tablets? Wait. What are you referring to? <laughs> I guess there are lore tablets talking about Mr. Mushroom. Oh, I can't get this. Oops. Perfect e pogo. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, I knew about this. Totally. <laughs> I knew that was the thing. Three cost steady body though. Is that worth it? Mm. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's all the checks here. Is there anything over here, though? Oh, no. There, <laughs> Queen's Gardens is not accessible. Wait, four or five of them? Holy crap, that's a lot. Oh, I need to get these mimics. Use it, hun, would be proud. <laughs> Three cost steady body, still worth. <laughs> So because mimics are randomized, this room is juicy. Oh, zero cost Weaver Song. Five cost Soul Eater. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Oops. One in Fungal Core as well. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Uh, where am I? So I think the Geo Rocks are. Are they in? I think they must be in this room. Like down and to the left. Twenty essence. I haven't even checked the seer yet. How much essence do I have? Six seventy five? Might be able to get something. Three in waste and one in core. Okay. Thank you, Fractal. Okay, so there's a check bottom left of this room. Corner for hello. Okay, so this gives me 655. Okay. 
Cornifer has righted his wrongs, scamming me earlier. Uh, so I need to go to the right and get all those checks. That's a lot of checks. I'm glad I could wall jump on that. <laughs> Wasn't sure. Oh. Oh, I actually can't get up this way. I think. Now it looks like I can't. Oh well. Okay. I just have to enter from fungal. Uh, so I should go... Probably just go down and get this and get the uh, hot spring bench. It's having that bench is nice. I don't have tram pass yet, so I can't use the tram. But once I once I can use the tram, it'll be nice to have that bench probably. Oops. Nothing wrong with sleeping. Um, wait, I made a mental note. Oh yeah, I have to, I was gonna say, I made a mental note to equip something. The zero cost weaver song. That's a pretty good deal, I would say. Hopefully I get like a cheap grub song so I can get the soul, use them as a soul battery. Uh, okay. I am going to get these three checks to the right, I think. Wait, are these guys crabs? Oh yeah, they're crabs. Oh, Crystal Heart, let's go. Nice. I can do acid skips because I have left claw as well. That is a good find. Uh, I, I did not mean to go this way. <laughs> I need to go down. Yeah, the skin is amazing. Um, is it here? Kyla Boz super chatted ten dollars. Fire tell Buggy to get some sleep. Thanks a lot, Kai. Buggy, get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kai. Where is this thing? It's lore tablet. I can hear something. Oh. Okay. Life fled. Uh, okay, bench warp. dash with this uh, skin is the best. Here. You got like the whale. It's so good. Love it. It's probably my favorite C dash out of any skin.
based off the soul totems. <laughs> that would be cute. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's just the one last check, I think. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Oh, I have a good solution to that bug. Oh. I don't know why. Oh. oh, I thought it mosque was going into the ceiling. room damage and <laughs> so much damage it's like two damage probably oh nice okay i don't think there's a check yeah it's just a check from the pale over over here <laughs> geo rock yay It's okay. I used to stay up late all the time, too. Like, until 4 a.m. every night. Mm. Where am I going? <laughs> There's nothing in this room, I think. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Is there something up here? Oh yeah, there's a grub. So I guess there's stuff below. Wait, how do I how do I do this? Uh is that mm. I think I have to get there from above. So I think I have to loop around. I think that's the I think that's the way. Oh, I have high blood. <laughs> I didn't even. I was already full health. up there for me to pogo. Maybe I need to loop all the way from Galeon. Oh wait, that was Galeon, wasn't it? How do I get over there then? Oh, from from the fungal like waste entrance? I go left? Is that doable? I thought you, you needed double jump. And this might be like one of those hard skips, or I'm just forgetting the map. I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, I think there's uh, a check over here. <clears throat> Lifeblood core. Oops. There should be a way to get there from the right side. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably from the right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's apparently a rancid egg. So, oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, I need to pogo one of those spiders. Okay, come here, spider. Don't, don't kill him. Weavers, weavers, do not kill this guy. Oops. Nice. Oh, I need to go up a little bit more. Salmyra Leak super chatted one euro and ninety nine cents. Please stream more often. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Salmir. I will be streaming more often for sure. <laughs> Six cost groom child. Wow. <clears throat> that is an expensive groom child. Yeah, I do plan to stream more. Probably going to do some more challenges. <clears throat> I also have a... Oh, God. I do not want to kill that guy. Oh, I think I can make this. Can I? Come on. No, I think it might not be doable. <laughs> Shit. Okay, even if this is possible, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's definitely possible when you can pogo the spider. I think I need to unequip Weaver Song so I can make sure the enemies don't die. Back in those spikes in the breakable floor. Oh, did I miss something? Which areas in the game did I hate when I first played through, but after playing more became a favorite? Mm, I don't think I hated any areas in the in my casual playthrough. But um, in terms of the speed run, fungal waste screw on me a lot. Fungal waste is really fun. In the speedrun. In the casual playthrough, fungal waste is kind of whatever, but it's just like. Oh. In the speedrun, there's like the fun tricks and the movement is really fun. <clears throat> uh, next to the devout? Where you get the grub? Oh, okay. Breakable wall. Wait. There's a check in the spikes in the breakable floor next to the devout. Where you get the grub. It's a breakable wall with spikes. Oh, oh, oh. I broke the floor already. Okay. Oh, oh. Shit, I'm at one health. Yeah, I think I see it right here. Oh. I didn't know that existed. What the hell is this? <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. Yeah, I had no idea about that. <laughs> Where even am I on the map? Good lord. I'm next to Beast Den, I guess. So I'm just gonna get the stag. didn't make that. Oh, it's really hard to see with the blue tint. Now, oh, why am I in here? I should equip Grimchild, though. Oh, man, the fact that I have to... I have to equip Grimchild to get the checks. 
because Grimchild stuff is randomized, like the flames, but it costs six. Oh, that's a scam. Oops. Why did I say I was going to unlock the stack? <laughs> I'm playing randomizer. Imagine falling here again. Oh no. I don't I don't want to. <laughs> okay, time for some beast and fun. Why is my green screen fucked up? How long has it been like this? Uh oh. Holy crap, that's awful. What is going on? I'm just going to fix my green screen one sec. That, that's what's actually behind me. My my webcam has been like changing settings, so I, I really need to fix that. Okay, hopefully this is okay. Yeah. You can still see a bit of green on my hair. That's not good. It's a very fine balance between getting rid of the green and, like, not making your skin invisible. What the fuck? <laughs> I think my... I think my webcam changed brightness because I look very bright. I look much brighter than I should. The knight's face. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Oh yeah, the my webcam just switched back to default settings again. That's why this happened. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm gonna just lower the brightness a little bit. And then the settings should be okay once I revert them. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, thanks a lot, X Creations. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll just be one moment. Anyone watch Squid Game, by the way? I just finished that yesterday. I probably don't want to spoil anyone, but it was pretty fun. Okay. I'm just going to leave the settings for the webcam open so they don't randomly reset. Oh, some shit, sorry. The echo is still on, I forgot to turn it off. Oops. I promise that was not on purpose. <laughs> Oops, oh god. Fire has spoken to us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Liam Hoff super chatted five dollars. So when can we expect the room rando versus three hunters video? For now. <laughs> I I've actually considered that, Liam. But I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe if you had like 30 hunters, but it, it would be kind of interesting. Like that would be way too big brained. I think it would just be so hard for anyone because you have to like chase someone while memorizing the rooms and you'd also have to play on the same seed. Oh shit. Am I stuck here? You know, I think... I think actually if you got the spider to shoot up at you, you could damage tank and like get knocked back and dash into that wall. That would be cool. Let's try that. Oh. Oh. Oh, I... Th well, let's not try that. <laughs> 
Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to get all these checks. Like, there's so many checks. So I'm going to go back up to Queen Station and then try coming back down. Fireborn music. <laughs> hey, Calamity, by the way. Clips aren't enabled? Oh my god. Why, YouTube? Like, I, I wait so long for YouTube to get clips, and then they just disable them. Like, what the hell, man? <clears throat> okay, so hopefully I can find a way to, um... Oh, I hear it. Oh, yeah, I've, I've already been up there, right? Yeah. Hopefully I can find a way to get all these checks, because that would be nice. There's so many checks down here. Some videos still have them. Uh, I think you do have to manually opt into it. Oh, that's not the way. But I, I only opted into it once, and I had it on like all my videos. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they haven't given it to me for live streams, but I think they have. Like, I think I had it before. So, not sure. Okay. Oh. But. So it's in the next room that I need to go to the left? Thanks, Helen. But I think this room requires double jump, doesn't it? Oh no, it's breakable floor. Okay, so... Do I just need to pogo an enemy, perhaps? You see it on your screen? Okay. Okay, thanks, John. <laughs> so some, some people do have clips. Oh, refreshing the page works. <laughs> Fucking YouTube. <laughs> well, at least YouTube didn't have a data leak. Which, by the way... You should change your Twitch passwords if you have not already. I think they... I think I got an email this morning saying they uh, changed everyone's stream keys already, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you use your Twitch password elsewhere, then you should probably take care of that. Because the, the passwords were leaked in encrypted form, but like if they somehow get unencrypted, then your passwords might be exposed, which would be bad. Oh, I, this is not the way to go, is it? Uh, so I wanna go down again, or um, just straight to the left, I guess. Because I think in this room there might be an enemy to pogo off of. I forget if I just like killed it when I tried last time. No, there's no enemies here. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh. Can I lure this guy up? Hmm. Looks like I cannot. Uh. How the hell do you get up there then? Do you have to shade skip? Well, I could just leave this for later, I guess. But it might be a shade skip. Whee! Azure Entity Super chatted $4.99. Have we paid Sly a visit yet? Uh, no. Hey, good call, Azure. <laughs> Thank you. 
We have not paid Sly a visit. Thanks for the donation as well. No, nothing really. Oh, still good to check. Uh, oh yeah, I should definitely go and go into um, Grim's tent though. Do I need Grim Child equipped? Probably not, but. Dakota Diaz for super chatted one dollar. Thanks a lot, Dakota. I appreciate it. Uh oh. Seen streamer? Oh yeah, because they're like fi streamer like financial revenue got leaked. I think that was the main thing, right? So everyone knows exactly how much the streamers are making. Gome. <laughs> I think I'll go into King's Pass. Yeah, that can definitely be awkward. Especially because I think like a lot of people don't recognize that there are like a lot of business expenses. Oh, oh, I'm overcharmed. Oops. Should probably try not to die then. Nope. Oh, I am not playing this very well. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Master shard. Nice. Mm, where should we go next? I want to go resting grounds because I want to see what is uh, what I can get with essence. Hey, Solus. Oh, nice. That's cool. Congrats on getting the new job. Hope you've been doing well. Oh, Palor. Use PS, yeah. Oh, that's not a good deal. <laughs> Big brain strats. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Probably a lot of Geo. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Soul refill. Mask shard. City crest. I don't think city crest is actually used for anything. Oh, so it's all junk. That's unfortunate. I think I can open up the glade though, right? Yeah, I can still open up the, the area. We're a 12 hour shift. That's a lot of work. Um, oh. Oh. All right. I guess I'm not getting those checks. I don't even have swim, so. Oh, I don't know if swim is necessary. Get the 15 Geo. <laughs> Pogo Revic. Oh, that would be sick. That's a good call. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I can go White Palace. Uh, wait, why does it show corner? F oh, oh, that's the that's the geo. Okay, I'm just gonna get that because I want it off the map, so I don't think about it. Great deal. Uh, is this just open? Okay, yeah. Because the soul statue's gone, they just open it by default. A 
lore tablet. <laughs> Half the pain, yeah. The uh, the soul statues are randomized, so like, it's a lot of checks to go into White Palace and Path of Pain. I just, I probably need Right Claw. <laughs> what is that flower quest? Lousy soul refill. <laughs> no, we're not doing flower quests. Sorry. We're gonna we're gonna skip that one. Oh, from the seer. Oh, the POP reward is also randomized, so there's like another check on top of everything else. Oh, another. Oh, we have dream now. All right. Oh, six cost rubber flies elegy. Nice. It is suitable, like all the all these items are in their vanilla locations, you know? Two dream nails in resting grounds. child I'm gonna go take care of this Oops. oh god I'm scared I just want soul before I start the grimkin fight <laughs> I'll probably hit this lever Oh my god. I thought I only had two health. Okay. Oh my god. Cotton moment. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> See that little fireball coming. Working on beating NKG for the first time? Nice. Good luck. You got this. Master the art of dashing away. Because that is really helpful for that fight. Oh yeah, I need to get Dream Nail. Streamer locations added to the map. Perfect. <laughs> also heal. Yeah. Probably should, I guess. I like to keep things spicy, though. <laughs> Clip out the part where the fireball hits you and edit the masks back in. <laughs> in Blue Lake. <laughs> uh, so I want to use the elevator here. And there's going to be a Grimkin like right there. So I may as well just keep Grimchild on for the moment. Even though it's kind of scary. <laughs> oh yeah, Solace. I, I feel you. I do that a lot too when I'm learning bosses, but it's actually kind of good to do that because you learn 
how much you can get away with. Which is always really good to know. Uh... Oh, I was thinking of the other other elevator. I forgot which elevator I was at. Let me let me go and oh, I don't have Salubra. No, I should check Salubra. What what, what am I doing? <laughs> should definitely check Salubra. Let's go to the other bench. Salubra has a lot of items. It's a good place to check. <laughs> I don't want to just get the Grimchild checks out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So I'll I'll go Salubra, and then I'm gonna go like to the left. Crossroads are green. Yep. No oh, charm notch. That's worth it. One cost stalwart shell. It's actually. Mm, I don't know if it's useful for casual play like this, but. Like, if I could get one cost stalwart shell for any radiance. Hell yeah. I would take that. Oh, I should, I should also um, get that rancid egg while I'm here. The Blue Lake Rancid Egg. I've also got <laughs> also got a lot of rancid eggs, so if I could get to that rancid egg shop, that would be nice. There's like a shop at Tuck with the rancid eggs now. It's like a new randomizer thing, so like once you get rancid eggs, they actually have a use, I think. I haven't actually tried it before. Oh. Oh, mask shard. Nice. Okay. I mean, you should only do challenges, like, if you're enjoying them. It's totally okay not to, because it's just, like, a time commitment, you know? It's not, like, a reflection of how good you are or whatever. Just like how much time you put in. Time and energy, I would say. Like, I love the fact that you can hit the boss more during your iframes. With Stalwart Shell, especially like when you have Quick Slash, you just get so many hits off every time you stun the boss. Uh, okay, that's everything here. Oh, thank you, Grimchild. <laughs> Grimchild being useful moment. Callie, I think like most top speedrunners would say that. Like I, I know there's definitely some who wouldn't, but in the HK community, people are pretty reasonable, I would say. Yeah, I feel you, B8. Like, uh, I've been playing Beat Saber recently, and I know there's some people who get good, like, crazy fast. <clears throat> like, I saw there's a guy who got the grinded ranks from, like, playing for nine months and is almost top ten already. Which is bananas. Some people just, like, get good really fast. Which is impressive. But I think it's like 
I think it's mainly in like the amount of energy they put in and like their the way they approach getting better at games. Like of course everyone's brain is gonna be different. Yeah, but The important thing is just having fun. Like, sometimes I struggle to have fun with video games. You know? I just, like, can't find something that I like. Mm, I don't think doing that for an arcane egg is worth it. <laughs> Oh, did I miss... There's like a key on the elevator. Did I miss something? Oops. Yeah, for sure. Like, I think it would be unrealistic to say that some people aren't, like, just better at learning. Oh, I did miss something. Oh, it's the soul refill. I'll just, I'll just buy it. Get this icon off the map. But I, I think it does come down to like being better at improving. Like there are some people who are just crazy good at getting better. But I don't think people like start off like, you know, you know, super good. Yeah, also for me personally, the most important thing is just like having fun because if you're not having fun, then you're not going to stick to it. I see a lot of people who like get started speedrunning and they like make these crazy goals before they even start, like before they know that they even enjoy it. And of course, like, unless you really like speedrunning, you're not going to follow through with those goals. So you have to put, like, having fun first. I do not have exquisite key. I think I'll go through Sanctum, though. There's a lot of checks. But yeah, like, the number of times I saw someone join the speedrunning community and they were like, I'm gonna get world record. <laughs> but, like, you also have to find, like, a speedrun that suits you. Oh, I should probably not be overcharmed for this. <laughs> oh, Cyclone Slash. You have to find a speedrun that suits you, and, you know, I think just, like, you gotta enjoy every step of the way, because if you aren't, then you're not gonna spend all the time you need to like get to the very end game of speedrunning. Oh, Monarch Wings. Hell yeah. Also, like a lot of the current top Hollow Knight players um... We actually started running really early on when it was way easier, like when there weren't nearly as many difficult tricks to do and difficult strategies and whatnot. So like we have an advantage in that we had like training wheels on when we were learning essentially. Everyone who starts nowadays tends to like immediately implement the most difficult strategies and that makes learning a lot more difficult and take a lot longer. I wouldn't say that makes learning take longer, but you spend more time, like, struggling at the start.
compared to how it was before. It's much more of a difficult curve at the beginning. Yeah, definitely, Cal. Yeah, Fractal, like, you can even improve your mentality, you know, it doesn't even have to be, like, a game skill, specifically. And I actually think that's probably more important than the skills you get from gaming. Or the gaming skills that you get, I suppose. <clears throat> you gotta apply the speedrunner mentality to other aspects of life. Just not like the calling yourself shit at everything. Don't do that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad idea. It's really funny how that's a thing in speedrunning world. It's being like super hard on yourself. And I think it's because like um, just because of how frustrating speedrunning can be. Because speedrunning can be extremely unforgiving. You would be a grub. <laughs> I've saved way too many grubs this run. This is extremely out of character. It's gonna be like a 112% run at this point because I don't have a single King Soul piece. <laughs> oh, Soul Catcher for one. That's pretty nice. Oh, did I miss some stuff? There's a Geo Rock. Oh, I think. It's... I also forgot about the Dream Boss. But yeah, I think I missed a couple things. There's like a hidden path somewhere, isn't there? Yeah. Where is it? That was just that. Nothing, pretty much. Uh, so I'm gonna do soul fire. Because I've forgot about that. May as well do the boss while I'm here. Yeah, thanks, Ellen. Yeah, I've saved more than zero. It's too many. I actually, I don't even think I need to save any, but if I'm already there, I feel like I may as well. I lost the ability to heal. Oh, I can't cast spells. Nice. That's, that's good. Oh, 
Yeah, sometimes inventory dropping can cause some weird stuff to happen. Well, I saw this. Skin of Luke's being grubs. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. That is a very good idea. 22 Geo, hell yeah. Worth. nail hits. <laughs> mm, so I can warp out of here. Oops. Uh, city toll. Okay. Oh, I have so many charm launches. What should I equip? Stalwart shell for one. Soul catcher for one. <laughs> Those are pretty good options. Mm. Mark Bride for the default amount is also not bad. Deep Focus for three is actually pretty good, I would say. Like, I might actually use that over these three. Oh, I still have one notch. So do I use... I think I'll use Soul Catcher. <laughs> My zero cost Weaver song, Grub song, Dream is dead. Why do I have Fury on? Uh, good question. Because I forgot what Fury looked like with the skin. <laughs> That's the real answer. Good reminder, though. I will probably unequip that. Yeah, I'll definitely upgrade my nail. Oh. Almost got all three uh, nail arts. Just one more. Okay, where is, where is this Geo Rock? Is that... Is it just up there? Oh, it's right here. Okay. That was just a lore tablet. Oh. Mm. Okay, so... I don't think I need to sell to Lem yet, so I'm just gonna leave Lem. I'll just go get my nail upgrade and get the relic in here. Oops. Oops. Walking in the rain again. <laughs> ah, Ronjo Stenja. Yeah, I love that when enemies fall in the water, they just die. <laughs> so good. Majora's Mask Randomizer. Nice. Yeah, we were talking about the Zelda games uh, randomizers earlier. Vendasu. Oh, maybe I should sell to Lem. I just used all my Geo. <laughs> How many pale ores do I have left? Probably none. Yeah, it looks like none. Yeah, that is us without the swim. Which is right now. 
I haven't gotten swim yet. Yeah. So you just, if you fall in, you take damage. Fun. Okay, I'll get this bench. I'm gonna get the check up above too, I think. Wait, is that above me? Or is that... Where is that? <laughs> I think it is above in this room. Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, I think it fell in the water. <laughs> mm, do I have a simple key? Oh, I do. So I can go into waterways. Uh, I'm gonna get Slim's Geo first. Because like uh, once once I go far enough down, I'm gonna need the uh, 3,000 Geo for the soul vessel check. This randomizer is actually gonna take a long ass time because I'm getting close to th I'm like two and a half hours in, and we don't have a single king soul piece. <laughs> that is. Probably really bad luck. Uh, okay, so let's get the. Oops. Let's get the grub. Actually, I'll get the bench first because I do have I do have wall jump. I can just jump back up. Uh. Hmm. Three. Three cost steady body. I don't have enough notches for that. I didn't have swim. <laughs> mm. So I just need to go into the next room. There's nothing in here. Because I can't can't get the egg that's below. Buying money for money. Uh, get rich quick scheme. Uh, okay. <laughs> Avoid tendrils. Oh, that's so loud. Die. There's still some left. Oh, you can get the mask? Oh yeah, that's not even that bad. Oh, it's just you. for me, Cornifer. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, so I think... Is there any... Oh yeah, I think if you get Breda, you can get that mask, right? In Zoot's room. The sounds. Nice ASMR stream, yeah. Very lovely sound effects. Oh, I can't wall jump up there. So for those who have just started watching recently, I do not have right claw, so I can only wall jump to the left. Bing. Bing. Ooh. 
Mm. Oh, there's a bunch more checks. I can actually go to Fungal Core. There's a lot of checks in here. Uh... I could probably start at Leggy Dirt. There's a... There's a Lore Tablet. I don't even know what that is. Let me, let me, I'm going to go up to Leg Eater and we can clear pretty much all the fungal wastes right now. And yeah, clearing an area is a good thing, a very good thing. It means we don't have to think about the area anymore. I will, I'll get right claw. It's going to be in fungal. No problem. So where's that Mr. Mushroom tablet? I think there must be one in here, right? But where the hell is that? That is this room. Get the one Geos. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay. That makes sense where it was on the map then. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll go get the City of Tears stuff. Like just outside City of Tears. Uh, this is not the way to City of Tears. What am I doing? Indeed, a voice of disappointment, not gonna lie. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't need this. I just need. I don't have the city press, so I could get that check, but I need to do it from the right side. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully, hopefully, it's nothing super important. So what check should I get first? Um, yeah, I need to go into Fungal Core. So that's from this room to the left. There's a lot of checks in Fungal Core. I don't know where any of them are, except for the mask. <laughs> so, this is gonna be fun. Here's a secret lore tablet. Nope. Oh. Uh, so there's a Geo Rock to the right somewhere? Oh, I see it. I'll go with the manhunts. Um, I've been trying other multiplayer content lately, but like none of it's kind of uh, been like worth editing a video on. Like it's it's been fun, but like not exciting like PvP wise. Um, but I do want to get back into manhunts. It's just kind of. Mm -hmm. Difficult to kind of figure out exactly how to do things. Uh, the thing is, is that like, by the time I stopped doing them in like February, the meta had become super stale because it was just like, at some point you just, once you are able to, you just go and get nail arts and there's literally nothing they can do about it. <clears throat> so you kind of have to balance it around like, the idea that you will get nail arts. And nail arts are overpowered. <laughs> so, I don't know. I was thinking about making them just do one damage, but I'm not sure. It's like really complicated. 
to like balance things properly in a way that's fun. Where the hell is this jack, by the way? There's a geo rock somewhere. But um, SFG actually made a mod that like blocks people out of boss arenas, and I was thinking of doing like the manhunt, but like essentially one or two lives. Where's this geo rock? <laughs> and one, one or two lives, and the hunters wouldn't be able to enter the boss arenas. Oh, is this it? This must be it. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not it. Is it further down? Oh, I have to equip Grimchild, too. Oh my god. It's to the right. Oh god. Where is it? Is it a breakable wall? Uh, I think if it were like that, there wouldn't be a time limit. Oh. oh was, did I already come up here? I did. Oh. Wait, but this doesn't lead anywhere. Now <laughs> I'm lost. I'm so lost. Maybe, maybe it was one of the soul statues. Perhaps. Oh, this is new. Oh, it's just down here. <laughs> oh! It was in Fungal Wiz. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I thought so too, Alan. Oh, that's good. I am very happy to have Right Claw. So now I can actually go get all those Geo Rocks. There's so many in that one room. <laughs> Which I think is actually... Is it the next room? Or is it this room? I think it's this room. No, it's, it's probably the next room. Hmm... There is something that looks like it's in this room. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> okay. Next room. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's hopefully get something out of this room. Something good. Radiance with just claw. So it's just like it's a matter of getting King Soul now. I think that's literally it. Yeah. Yeah, McKelly, I kind of agree. Um,. The only problem I have with it is that I think it makes the ending pretty anticlimactic. So I'm still not. Still trying not to use Right Claw. <laughs> oh, there's stuff to the right. That's kind of why I've shied away from it, because I know that if I get to the end. Like, I know the mid game and early game would be fun, but, like, I know once I get to the end, it's gonna be super lame. If I don't let the hunters into the boss arena. But if you also if you do let the hunters in, then it's also lame. So it's like I don't know. <laughs> do the scurry egg? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh is that everything? Oh, there's a lore tablet. Oh my god, what Where the fuck is this lore tablet? It wasn't over here, was it? Oh. Oh, there's... Huh? What? Yes, 
Skull Twister is nice. So there's definitely a secret up here. How do we, how do we get there? It's probably from like all the way over here, right? Weird wall corner in the upper middle, yeah. Nest hot springs? Yes. I didn't get the beast den bench. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Because you need uh oh I probably could have gotten that while I was there. Because I think I had double jump. Oops. Mmm. can do Gillian and like Trampass and everything. Okay, there's some Geo Rock here. They look kind of like shrimp. <laughs> they kind of do. 15 geo. Four times 15 geo for a total of 60. Wow. Mm. So I think that lore tablet... Is that in the room above me? I think it... I think it's in the room above me. Lifeblood? What? Where the hell is that lifeblood? Let's get Zote, I guess. Oops. Uh, Zote doesn't count as an item, but I think there's like that mask before Grape Rent Soap. I don't know if that can be a key item though, because you can miss out on that, right? So I don't, I don't know. Oh, I guess I should save him <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> Up above the lever. Oh, okay. Good to know. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, another 15 geo. Didn't even notice that. My entire recent items feed is 15 geo. Amazing. Oh, yeah, the essence. True. Oh. I don't even know if I've been over here before. <laughs> Always just go straight down. Oh. Straight down over here, yes. Right, folks. <clears throat> okay. So there's a geo rock on the left side of this room. I'll go kill Galleon and get the lifeblood as well. No. <laughs> it's not too useful with Bench Warp, but there are probably a couple spots where I could have used it. Mm. Oh, I think that's the Geo Rock. Oops. This spot is actually completely new to me. Okay, yeah, I need to do Weaver's Den. There's a lot of checks there, and Beast's Den is gonna be really juicy. I could really, really use the King's Soul Fragment. That would be nice. Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna go up. Oops. Grab. Oblates are more important. True. <laughs> I 
Oh, I need to equip Grimchild. I also missed a Grimchild location somewhere. In Fungal Core, right. Oh, I could have used a shortcut. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Badge, indeed. It's a good chance we'll get a nice item here, though. Because uh, there's so many checks. I like how you can go through this sequence more than one time. <laughs> Uh, I got this already. Beast stand part two. stuff, aren't I? Oh. Isn't there... yeah. There's something here. Oh, nice. Got another mask. Up to seven. A grub. I was ready. <laughs> no, there's no devout. That's weird. 56 Geo. Shout outs. Okay, there's just two more Geo Rocks. I think they're both here, right? Yep. <clears throat> that is everything. Well, I got a Mask Shard. I guess that's okay. <laughs> it's not spectacular, but... is in this one, right? Do I need... I guess I need to... Yeah. I guess I need more flames. Uh, so I can get one from City Core upgrade? Okay. Have I fought Grim? No. <laughs> Good call. Grow the child. Do I, I don't have enough flames? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so city... Uh, the, the starting area, whatever it's called, King's Pass. Is the one in Kingdom's Edge? Like the last one? Oh no wait, there was there was the one in City of Tears outside storerooms. I guess is it randomized? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's randomized. What of course it's randomized. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm playing randomizer. With the, with that setting on. Okay. Where should I go next though? I could go back to Royal Waterways. That would kinda make sense, I think. Passionate dance. I'm not really a dancer. <laughs> a 
Well, let me get let me get this rancid egg up here just cuz The flames themselves are randomized, so I've gotten like five of them, but I think some of them are like for the next stage. So I still need to get like oops, one of the early stage ones. Oh, I've gotten this. Um Oops, oops, crap. Oops, oh. We're still deathless. Oh, it's the, one of the starting uh, lore fragments. One sec, I'm gonna check my DMs. That was just, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. So there's some geo rocks above me. May as well go get those first. Dancing means throwing hands. I don't think it does. <laughs> But thank you. Oops. Oh god, what am I doing? Mm. Oh yeah, there's the, the rancid egg shop. Let's try that out. Oops. I've never seen this before. Oh, and there's an egg. Oh. Do I need more eggs for this to work? Because, <laughs> like, I thought there was a rancid egg shop somewhere. Like, I thought there was a setting for that. Lower totem. Oh, GG. GG is the one in Dirt Mouth, right? <laughs> I think it. I think it is. Oops. Okay. Let's let's. Get rid of this overcharm. Maybe, maybe I'll just check that out now because it seems like there might be multiple checks there. And I do have a couple keys. Okay. Oh, that room is open too. Oh, oops. What did she even say? Eight egg. Oh. Descending dark. That would be nice, I guess. So. All I got was. Wait, what? Oh. So you exit and you get sent to Huck's room? Okay, two more eggs for Descending Dark. Okay, that was a little bit confusing. Oh yeah, that's weird. You get sent to Tuck's room. It's, wait, is that... Is a person in Steel Soul named Tuck? Green screen is messed up again. Oh my god. Thanks for letting me know. The settings reverted. How does that happen? Okay. Well. Thanks for letting me know. How does that happen? Oh, I hate the Logitech software so much. It's the worst webcam software. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. All good, I think. 
Thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna move my heart rate monitor up a little bit. Not that we're doing anything that really warrants a heart rate monitor, I just kind of wanted it for fun. Mm. Oh yeah, I, c I can do gray print soap. Let's do gray print soap. Oops. Oh, can I not? It shows the dream thingy, but I guess I can't do it yet. Mm, okay. Let's get the let's get some of this stuff in crossroads while I'm here. Yeah, so I have to do Coliseum soap, I guess. Mm, mm, I can do this stuff above the Aspid Drop Room. Oh, 420 Geo Rock. Pale Ore, so I just need one more Pale Ore. Don't tramp pass. 22 Geo. Uh. to get my grub rewards. I don't think there was anything good out of this. <laughs> oh, 300 essence. But there's nothing good from essence. <laughs> so that, yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, uh... Oh, did I miss Geo in Ancestral Mound? I guess I... I guess I must have. <laughs> okay, I'll go pick that up. Maybe it wasn't accessible? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like up above, right? Yeah. Just a grub. Oh! Hell yeah. Finally. Got one piece. <laughs> Two more. Oh, I, I didn't really mean to save and quit out. Uh, so crossroads stag, so I can get to fail champion. May as well just clear out crossroads while I'm here. I can, I can pretty much get everything. Some spawn. Champion, then I'll get those Geo Rocks to the right. Oh, Tuck has a guaranteed egg. Okay. Interesting. Call of Duty colored mount. <laughs>
Yeah, with my loadout, this is gonna be a pretty easy fight. <laughs> I remember when True Ending had to uh, kill failed champion with just vengeful spirit and an unupgraded nail. I think we had Shaman Stone too, though. That was a fun fight. Fun in like a painful kind of way. <laughs> Seal of Binding. Okay. Okay, back to the stag. With a punch of fish. Yep. Mm, where am I going? I haven't been to Crystal Peaks yet. And I'm right here, so I feel like I may as well. I think I should take a break though, because I haven't stood up in like, oh, three hours and 20 minutes. Should probably stand up. No oh, wayward compass for one. I'm using that. I'm so using that. <laughs> That'll be so nice with the map. Oh, and I've got an extra charm notch. Yo, finally got a map icon. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick like two minute break. I'm just gonna go like pet the cats or something. Be right back. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching and hanging out. We are back. Okay, so we've just got two more King Soul fragments to go. <laughs> Let's 
which could be anywhere because the entire map pretty much the entire map is open like I just need to go around and pick up items so crossroads is crossroads is actually completely done except for that one soul statue which I think did I get that Thanks, B8. <laughs> uh, okay. So I can do Crystal Peaks. Uh, I'll go through the top entrance so I can get that Francid Egg. Or do I need to? I think I can, I think I can actually wall jump up to it. Oh, but this is not the way. No, thanks a lot, Ghosty. Father? Uh, yeah, I did Grub Father. Actually got everything from Grub Father already. Which is... Which was basically nothing. <laughs> he had like a couple grubs and some essence. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna go to the right. Oh. Let me make sure I get all the Geo Rocks in this room. right here. Yep. Oh, it's Mysterio. Nice. Good find. I'm gonna get the bench first, I think. Then I'll go up to the left. Uh, so I... I do want Grimchild for the check, so I'm gonna equip it just be overcharmed for crystal peaks. I think there's a check like up here too, right? Vanilla shape of un. Hey Matthew. Um so all I need I wish Streamlabs would show alerts for, like, resubbing members. <laughs> Stupid Streamlabs. Uh, all I need is... Ink Soul, that's it. So I, I need... Two increments of King Soul, I think. Because I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. But I think you need to find the two pieces of King Soul and then Void Dart. That's all I need. I've got all the other requirements for true ending already. Like I got three dreamers within the first half hour, which was extremely unlikely because I have, this is everything rando. So every single item is randomized. Okay, let's, let's put a dream gate down. Oh, I, I didn't pogo. Oops. Yeah, okay. Good. It's good to have confirmation of that. To know I wasn't just, like, making it up. <laughs> Shopkeeper ski. Oh, nice. Hope you're doing well, though, Matthew. Oh, no worries. Hope you have a nice sleep, B8. Thanks for hanging out. Just had another dream gate here. What? Why did I... 
Why did I cancel my C dash? <laughs> okay, guy. Good luck with work. Hope you have a nice day. No, no, I have no soul. focus on. Nice. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I've healed. Yeah, three dreamers early, but it definitely came with a cost. <laughs> Terrible dreamer luck. I'm just gonna do a circle around Crystal Peaks, get all the checks. Oops. Uh, let's get the Crystal Guardian bosses while we are here. <laughs> Even the pets fight them. That's funny. Ooh. So I guess I can not equip Groom Child. May as well. I don't want to take four damage from Enraged Guardian. <laughs> take two damage from that. I guess I have seven health. Yeah. Crystal Peaks looks like super ominous with this coloration. <laughs> The person who made the skin just didn't get around to changing all of them. Oops. Oh, lifeblood heart for zero. I will take that. Let's grab this. I don't I don't think I really need it, but may as well. Who can say no to a zero cost lifeblood art? Maker's still working on it. You know, it might also be that they might not have ideas for all the charms, too. I don't know. I have no idea, really. A lot of the people who make these, like, really... like, high-effort skins are from the Chinese community. And they're, like, kind of separated from the international HK community. Uh, where, where is, where's this wall? I think it's the next one. Oh, there's some, some underneath me. Oh yeah. 
double soul statues. Perfect. Oh, another, another infinite one. Another path of pain soul statue. Cost Dash Master, Sag. No, it would be it would be fun to do like a God Home ending cursed randomizer because like even though you have like the super weak nail, the extra charms like with the charm notches being randomized would maybe equalize things like a little bit because i have a lot of charms on <laughs> right now they're not all good charms but some of them are pretty decent one cost strength is pretty pretty damn nice oh there's another check oh man okay thanks for letting me know i just assumed that was um that was the infinite Totem. Go back to the right. Oh. Oops. So now we pretty much just go to the Crystal Heart Room. Along the way. Oops. Oh, there's <laughs> another Geo Rock. I can hear a rancid egg. So I think that's I think that's below me. Yeah. If you hold forward, you get the cycle. Oh, that's... I have so much Geo, I don't really need to worry about it. <laughs> That's just in the same room. It's just, it looks really weird on the map. <laughs> Let's grab this. Oh. Uh, I guess I can warp to the bench to get there. Crystal Guardian. Minor modification took a dozen hours. Holy crap. Yeah, that does not surprise me. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have enough soul. <laughs> Station stag. Nice. Mm, okay. So I'm just gonna warp out, I guess. Yeah, the amount of work is really crazy. Mm, okay, so there's the grub here that I can get. Everything rando is kind of brutal in a way. Like, I did not expect it to take this long. I was, like, thinking it would be two hours or something. Oh, that doesn't work. I mean, I should have known better, but... <laughs> Still fun, though. So this geo chest, yeah, you get that from below. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, geo rocks is the worst defender by far. It really adds a lot of time. You have to go to every single geo rock. Really, <laughs> eight hours. Wow. Is that just item randomizer, or is it room randomizer too? <laughs> Lauren soul totems are pretty bad too. The one thing I like about totems being randomized is that it makes white ballast juicy, which is kind of cool, but. It, it adds it adds a lot of time. Um, where is this geo? Did I miss it? Oh yeah, I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Room rando, item rando, and got home ending. Wow. I haven't been watching, but maybe maybe I'll check it out. <laughs> that is. That is brutal. Is it cursed? Or is it uncursed? <laughs> I hope it's not cursed for scurry's sake. Yeah, so many checks become worthless. And like, there are some cool spots, but a lot of the Geo Rock spots are kind of like, just like a couple seconds out of the way. <laughs> Uncursed, yeah, that's good. Love themselves too that much. That's good. Although, if I was doing a run that long, I would kind of want to make it challenging, but that's... That's a bad idea. Like, I know it's a bad idea. <laughs> uh, let's... Let's go clear out the glade. So we can... Just so we can say we finished resting grounds. Yeah, curse logic is it like the more the more choices you have, the better, right? Like I I would kind of like personally to have like the cursed uh 
options for like getting rid of upgrades and stuff separate. That would be kind of nice, I think. What is that dollar sign? Did I? Maybe I missed something. I'll double check that. I wasn't sure if I would take damage. I didn't think I would. But... That's like the one thing that I still don't have is the ability to swim. I think I have like everything else. egg. Uh, I think I actually kind of want a rancid egg for Descending Dark. Oh god, that sounds so painful. <laughs> that sounds awful. Because you, you have to fight every boss, right? You have to fight every boss to get God Home Ending. Yikes. looks like really rough to use in my opinion like ob obviously it's really helpful but it's like a game in itself and just like make the map Oops. so I need I need one more egg to uh Unlock Descending Dark, which will be nice to get. Spaghetti. Yeah. Like, it, it probably doesn't start off that bad, but eventually you just have, like, so many connections and everything. <laughs> oh, I, I need 2400 Essence. That's a... Uh, okay. That's a check, I guess. Uh, okay. So, Resting Grounds is done. Crystal Peaks is done. Crossroads is done. Oh, I need to check the, um, shopkeeper's key. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Georox. <laughs> this is awful. Look at this. I'll get Dream Shield. Just so I get a percent. <laughs> Holy crap. That is terrible. <laughs> I, I need to double check this Soul Totem outside Fungal Waste because it's just going to bug me if I leave it there. It's going to bug me so much. Like, what if it's something good? Yeah. Well, it's not even free. That's the thing. Trading one money for one money, you know? <laughs> oh, this is... I didn't get this? Oh, I could have got four notch long nail. Wow. Could have got that so early. Uh, okay. So Howling Cliffs is done. I need to rotate around the map. Because that, that's how my brain works. I gotta rotate around the map. So green path. We'll start with green path. 
We need to get Shape of Un and whatever is outside that room. One money for 15 money. True. Fuzzy green screen. <laughs> How does it change the settings? Why? This is this is the worst. Logitech. This is actually like my number one motivation behind wanting to upgrade to a like a real camera for a webcam. It's just because Logitech software is so shitty. It's so bad. It resets every time you restart your computer. And like, for some reason, it's just resetting randomly now as well. Because it, it tries to turn itself back to auto setting, like auto lighting. And when it does that, the lighting obviously like just fucking changes whenever it wants. Same with autofocus. Not fussy if I look to the right. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Oh god, Tuner. <laughs> okay. So, back to the stag station. Oops, the stag station. Yeah, I can only swim in acid, not water. Oh, I did miss a check here. Okay. I thought that the uh, Path of Pain totems just like weren't disappearing from the map properly, but I no, I actually just missed something. Oh, I need to equip Grim Grim Child. Oops. I'll uh I'll Dreamgate here. Okay, let's let's get the fast cycle. Not it. <laughs> why? Why didn't I see dash? Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's an egg in the bottom left of this room. What you got? Lower tablet, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I didn't, didn't even get to see the tablet. What the hell, man? I really wanted to see that. <laughs> oh, nice. Right shade cloak. Thanks, Ellen. Uh, no, the lore. Oh, God. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go back to the bench, get Grimchild. <laughs> I have so many charms equipped, and I'll Dreamgate back. <laughs> I can't read. Mm, oh, that's like the. Pretty much the last thing here. I can get the uh, whispering roots from the left, but I can't get it from Green Path. Oh, I forgot I don't have Great Slash. Not that. Hollowness seal. Okay. So I can do Fog Canyon from the the crossroads entrance. That'll be faster, I think. Oh, that 
Oh, yeah. It's, it's hard for me to tell because the animation's different, but yeah, it looks like it. You're right. It is both directions. That's good. I've been wanting Shade Cloak. Oh, I forgot to even equip the Lifeblood Heart. <laughs> so many germs. Uh, I'm on patch 1432. Oh, yeah, this way. Oops. Weaverlings. Oops. Oh man, the, the bringing the Weaverlings in here was a mistake. <laughs> oh. Is there anything over here? Oh, they they don't explode the eggs at least. I assumed they would for some reason. Okay. Oh, that's actually everything in here. My brain is telling me to go to, um, Leg Eater right now. Oh, what? That pushed me out of the, <laughs> out of the little tunnel. Need to jump first. Okay. Oh, there's Cornifer. I can get Cornifer. Should I do that after? Yeah, it'll probably be a bit faster to do it after Umu and everything. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. The fish don't for some reason. all the checks are like underneath Umu, I think. Yeah, so they're all the they're all the lore lore uh, statues. Appreciate it. Oh, another flame. Is that the right one? Oh, it is. Nice. I can upgrade Grimchild finally. I have Abyss Shriek. <laughs> but I don't have Shaman Stone. It's probably still worth it. Maybe if I had nail four nail strats would be would be better.
Oh. Flight fragment number two. Hell yeah. One more. <laughs> Maybe I should just go into a place with like a, a really dense number of checks. Oh, shit. God. Fucking Waverlings. Like if I, I think White Palace has a ton of checks, so maybe that would be a good place to go. I don't need to full clear the map, especially not anymore. Like now that there's only one left, I just need to go to dense areas. Areas with many checks. Oh fuck. Soul refill. <laughs> Path of pain. Yeah. Path of pain would be good. I'm gonna do mound just because it's kind of like out of the way to go back to. And I'll, I'll keep my dream gate outside Queen's Garden so I can get back there quickly. Mound is this way. Yeah. I have been up here, yeah. I have. It's so hard to remember. I started so long ago. <laughs> Grim, yeah, good call. Uh, Geo Rock in the top left. Is it up here? Oh, is it outside? Hey, bug. <laughs> Hope you had a nice rest. Here. No. It's got to be in here then, right? Does anyone have guidance? <laughs> I am to the right of it. Right? Oh. Apparently not. <laughs> Ten totems in White Palace plus journal entries. Yeah. That means White Palace is pretty worth. Oh, I don't have. I haven't even been to Hidden Station. God, I'm slacking. Oh, the Wi-Fi went down. Gotcha. Mm, so I haven't been to King Station. I don't think I've been to Queen. Oh yeah, I have been to Queen Station. Oh, Rancidek. Nice. No, nothing. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Nothing. Yep, yep. I'm going to White Palace now. And get this check while I'm at it. Perfect. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need to change my charms at all. Yeah, like if you look at how many checks are in White Palace, that's a shitload of checks. Oh yeah, I forgot about Grimchild. Oh, I can do it after. Oh, 
I better not skip anything because I'm gonna miss out on totems and I don't have like a map to tell me where they are. So, uh, really don't want to miss anything. <laughs> I don't know where the, all the totems are in this. Really have no idea. Okay, probably not anything down there. Do you feel free to yell at me if I miss anything? Nope. Can get Nail Master's Glory. There aren't any until the atrium. Oh, okay. the intended route. Kind of the intended route. Just in case there's any totems. I don't think there is. <laughs> Man, I... This is all so foreign to me. <laughs> statue over here. Oh. Right here, yeah. Because you need to de-dark. <clears throat> yeah, the POP one's not too worried about. Nice. Stupid webcam changed itself again. Oh, fuck. What is going on? <laughs> let, let me leave the settings box completely open. Can't change itself then, right? Oops. Oh, I hear a grub.
is there anything up here? <laughs> Man, what even is this section? <laughs> oh, there's a saw there. Okay, that makes sense. Would be a bit easy without it. Oh, yeah, I should fireball skip. You can squeeze in between here, right? Yeah. are just doing work with weaver songs, weaverlings. <laughs> okay, at the pain time. So I just need to go straight left to this one. Oh, another rancid egg. Oh, there's one here too. Pale ore, that's the last one. Nice. The saw is like right at the end there because uh, this is designed so that if you're doing a room randomizer, you can pogo up here because otherwise there would be no way to get through that. Oops, <laughs> through that, through that uh, direction with the room. <laughs> Just always throw me off though. Palace and P.O.P. That's, that's fun. Oh, oops. So the next soul statue is just right here. There's one right here. So far. Or generous, I suppose. Oops. Oh, we get one item for finishing Path of Pain as well, apparently. dark <laughs> would be nice to have hey Leo welcome to the stream 
we need we need one more king soul fragment and then we can beat the game <laughs> thanks ellen <laughs> nice mckelly <laughs> That, um, the Flores Lava playthrough of White Palace took me, like, 25 hours. And it was almost, like, 25 hours straight. Like, I just slept in between. That was when I was, like, really trying to make good videos. Like, fun challenges. That was really fun. It's a fun chapter of my YouTube career. Oops. So, uh, there's nothing to the left there, right? I actually have no idea. Oops. White Palace map. It would be nice right now. <laughs> I don't know if Rando Map Mod even works with it though. Mm, let me double check over here. Oops. Uh, there were only like three really difficult sections in White Palace of Flores Lava. Oh, there were four, I would say. There was the, uh, the saw blade trick early on. I lost like 75% of my runs to that. That was like, when I found that out, I was so hyped because it was like super cool to realize that that was possible. Because it seemed like it wouldn't be. <clears throat> These uh, spears were the second toughest part. And then there were the others. Or the, the saw blade tunnel on the left side of the atrium. And that part was also pretty tricky. And um, what, was, what was the other spot I was thinking of? Oh yeah, the uh, dash onto the elevator block in the atrium. That was a really tight dash. I failed that like half the time. Ooh. Really fun challenge though. It was like, I, I really enjoy um, figuring out those kinds of challenges, like just labbing it out. <sighs> Are there gonna, I hope there's no like soul totems in weird spots in this room. Cause this is a pretty big room. How many do I have? So I need one more the King's Soul and two Lord Lord Totems. What's up, McKelly? <laughs> yeah, Palette Swap seems to uh, tend to do that. Has that effect. Oops. Oops. Nice. Yeah, is there any lore in... I know there's a secret corridor in this last room. Or, or I think there's two spots. There's also like a secret in the room I was just in, like bottom right. Okay. Arcane egg. Sure. Oh. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go to the bottom right? Okay. Good to know. Is there anything here? Oh yeah. 
Oh, Sprint Master. <laughs> Sit. Hell yeah. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> We've got a game to beat. Hopefully I'll beat it today. <laughs> it's actually possible, like, if... There's two thorn sets, then go to the right. Yeah, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Just see dash out here. So I have wings and dash. Oh, yeah, edge would be good. Good call. <laughs> Monarch wings. So I think that's all the checks in White Palace. But I, I think I just got those, didn't I? Maybe it just has to update. Uh, I think that's everything, though. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll go to King Station. Yeah, that's like a lore room, I think. Never, like, really paid attention to it, to be honest. But there's a room there. I'm gonna actually do your mouth stuff real quick. So let me do Crim Child, and I'll get uh, Nail Master's Glory before I forget. Get a nail upgrade too. I don't. I don't know how much I need it. But. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot that you're supposed to dream nail rim at the start. Oh no, <laughs> I messed up, oops, it's been so long since I've uh, done this strat. been so long since I've done this. We're not getting a deathless run, Sag. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh yeah. It it just changed my webcam settings. Even though the settings window is open. How the fuck does that happen? Fucking Logitech. Oh. Oh, that wasn't even me that time. Oops. 
Oh, the Weaverlings can still attack Grim in the balloon phase. That's funny. sense. I just appreciate the Weaverlings. I wish they did meaningful amounts of damage. <laughs> like, Weaverlings are nice when you have nail zero, but once you have anything else, you know, their, ja their damage being two points makes them, oh sweet, 10 Geo. Oh, 15 Geo. It's one hidden. Two damage Weaverlings are not not so hot. Am I doing callos? Uh, if I have to, I'll probably try to do other checks first. This <laughs> whole refill. Nice. Uh, okay. So Kingdom's Edge. Uh, City King Station. I'm gonna. Oh, I need. I need. Grimchild equipped for this, uh, for this Grimkin. I need to acid skip in here, I think. Oh. Oh, is this like a really precise skip? Oh. You can't get that low. Yeah, it's like as low as you can get. Oh, this is tricky. <laughs> Definitely not deathless anymore. Well, I could just... I could take the tram over. That would probably be easier. Uh, so... May as well just go to Deep Nest, I guess. Hot Springs. What's up? What's up, bug? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check Sharp Shadow while I'm here. I think the shade did spawn over there. Over there. At least it looked like it did. Oh, I need to check the uh, soul vessel fragment too. Look down! Oh, thanks so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm pretty sure I did. There's another one in here? Or is that... There's two soul totems in here? Is that... Is that true? Yeah, oh no. Yeah, it is. I actually got the 420 Geo Rock already. Oh, 
off. <laughs> I guess I should heal. What the hell is this path? Down into the right, yeah. I started playing Monster Hunter Worlds again recently. I kind of stopped playing after I got to the point in... Oh, fucking grub. After I got to the point in like the base game where I was just like farming decorations and shit. But I'm trying out Iceborne. It's a lot of fun. I'm only... I'm, oh shit. I'm only just starting though, so. Crappy. But I'm like super lost because they've added so much to the game and I forgot everything that was like that I already learned about, so. <laughs> I am completely lost. <laughs> no spoiling. I'll make sure not to. I mean, I couldn't if I tried because I don't remember anything. I, uh, didn't even pay attention to it. I don't pay attention to stories in games that often. I have too much money on my shade. Oh yeah, I have like 9k Geo, don't I? <laughs> uh, oh, I I main bow in Monster Hunter. I really love bow because you're, you're just like so... Um, you can move around a lot and just like dodge right outside the enemy hitboxes. It's a lot of fun to do. I like the mobility. Okay, that's everything over here. Certified fire police moment. <laughs> it's all good. I wasn't even close to dying. I don't know what y'all are worried about. <laughs> Play the most lore heavy games and then ignore the lore. Might be guilty of that. Oh, I forgot to get the egg thing. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get this bench and then abandon this area for now. I can't buy the bench. I don't have Geo. <laughs> let me let me go back to the uh. The tram. Let's go. I'll work toward my shade. Okay. We'll get the shade back. I need to keep. I need to keep Grimchild. Oh, this is dark. Ooh. Oh, thanks a lot, Lemon Days, for becoming a legend. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Okay, in games like Outer Wilds, I would actually pay attention to the story. I might not read every single thing, but... If story is, like, necessary for the experience, then... Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't need Mr. Mushroom. I just need Mr. Mushroom's lore tablets. Which I will not read, of course. Uh, Hive is... There's a lot of checks in Hive. Maybe I'll just do Hive while I'm here. May as well. Yeah. These are also nice. 
I will bug. I'll probably wait until after I'm done with Monster Hunter. Then I'll play it. And I might stream it. You know, so many people want me to play it, so <laughs> it seems right to, to stream it. Uh, okay. Geo Rock to the right. No. Uh, I'm gonna skip that bench. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me in the ass. There's the Grimkin in here. Is it in the next room? Looks like it's in this room. Ouch. What the heck is this part of the hive? It just connects back to uh, Kingdom's Edge. Did I finish Ender Lilies? Uh, I got one of the endings. <laughs> then I stopped. I do like the game though. that happening. <laughs> uh, I got like the, I think I got the basic like bad ending, like the, I don't want to spoil anything, <laughs> fire please. Yeah, I'm just making room in my pockets for more Geo, no worries. I got like the ending, I, I forgot. Just like a field of flowers or something, I think. It's not a good ending. It wasn't a happy ending. Oh shit. Why did I flip this? Oh my god. Oh yeah. I never fight these guys in 112%, so I don't even know what moves they do. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of some stuff so we're not overcharmed. <laughs> I wish I had Shaman Stone. Like the Oro dive area. Yeah, that's a nice spot. It's fun to like find your way to it. Every time you get lost. At least I do. Me too. What a coincidence. <laughs> I 
Gotta watch out for the columns. Oh, that was good. I hit him three times. There we go. 15 G worth. <laughs> oh, one cost shaman stone. Nice. That was what I was talking about at the start of the stream when I did like a test run and I found a one cost shaman stone. I was so sad that I had to delete that save file. Um. Okay, the other stuff is from the other entrance spot. Oops. Oops. Yeah, it's the wiggle in the air. Wasn't sure what the telegraph was. Shade cloak. Okay, I need the big B. Where's the big B? Oh yeah, gotta make him angry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hive night time. Hell yeah. It's been a while since we fought a boss. Vengeful spirit would be nice right now. <laughs> Hydrate time. To remind myself to actually equip um shaman stone <laughs> okay that is everything from the hive Does anyone know if the game spawns duplicate white fragment pieces or if it's just the three? So that, that would be potentially horrible if it's just the three. But I assume I assume they spawn duplicates of it. Like with the uh, because like the randomizer spawns duplicates of some key items. One extra? Oh, okay. Thanks, Mimic. Spawns duplicates of some key items, like a uh, cloak and stuff like that. <laughs> one, one extra is still not that much, though. <laughs> could be here for quite a while. <laughs> or we could be done in like 10 minutes. That's the beauty of Randomizer. Streamer. Uh, 
Okay. Oh yeah, I missed uh, Geo Rock. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> it's the beauty of randomizer. <laughs> Enjoy YouTube deciding you're gonna watch it. Oh, and my webcam just did re fucking reset. Fucking bastard webcam. I need to figure out the software. <laughs> because, like, before I formatted or before I, like, uh, switched my new computer, I had software, like, the, the driver's software is just, like, very different Ooh. depending on which one you get. So, a lot of people use older versions. Uh, thanks a lot, that laser guy. Appreciate that. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. So now we just kill the Radiance. And we're done. I think. You just need Voidheart? Pretty sure you do. Pretty sure it's just Voidheart. What loadout should we use, though? We need to find the most busted loadout possible color palette mod but it's on fire's face <laughs> <clears throat> looks like the stream is healthy on my end i'm not dropping any frames or anything hey good boy rex long time no see we're just finishing because <laughs> i i've been looking around i got the three dreamers that i need within the first 30 minutes in the past four hours and 15 minutes has been me looking for the King Soul Fragments, which I just found the last of. <laughs> and now I'm trying to find the ultimate build to beat Radiance with. Mm, I like Quick Focus. Quick Focus is a pretty nice charm. I've actually already killed the Hollow Knight because after I got three Dreamers in Forgotten Crossroads, I figured I may as well just kill the Hollow Knight just for fun. <laughs> well, I guess I could have warped that bench too. That's okay. Oh, I still don't have Descending Dark either. <laughs> Do too much damage. I think that should be okay. Come on, Hornet. Get too early. <laughs> yeah, I have Shade Cloak, which is nice. Okay. Thanks a lot for hanging out, Helen. Have a nice day. Yes, we are done. I just got King Soul, uh, or Void Heart from the little descending dark area in Hive. So that's lucky. Yeah, we've got like a turquoise radiance, or teal, I guess. playing any Radiance. <laughs> this is very entertaining. <laughs> Boss just moves to like one quarter of the speed. Oh, there's an extra platform here too. Compared to with the uh, Abstrad. Oh my god. Oh 
yeah, and there's no final phase with this boss. Hell yeah. We did it. It's <laughs> a reason why we usually save TE for team games. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't take, because that could have took like eight hours if King Soul was in, like the last two King Soul fragments were in awful spots. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. Thanks everyone for the GGs and everything. not be a fire stream without cats at the end so be right back Chilling in the basket. So the, the green screen looks pretty weird, but I promise there's not just like a infinite black void behind me. <laughs> it's just my green screen. Little kitty is just sleeping in the basket. <laughs> He's so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, bread loaf. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad. Glad you're enjoying the stream. The cat defeated the radiance. <laughs> that Midas over here too. He's usually so eager to jump onto my desk. Getting an error with my audio device. Looks like it's okay though. You can just see the eyes, yeah. <laughs> he blends in. I also have a black shirt on, so that probably doesn't help. Void wishes for pets. <laughs> Minus is right here. I'm just jumping on the desk right now. Minus is huge. Elegant. He's just lazy. <laughs> He's just always like chilling. I mean, that's kind of what cats do, I guess. Oh, 
Minus, Minus is already gone. Like, fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Good kitty. Thanks a lot, everyone, for hanging around today. I'll try to stream more often. Um, I'm tentatively planning, like, a Pantheon 5 challenge run to do on stream, like, with the Nightmare Spikes mod, which I kind of mentioned earlier. So, uh... <laughs> oh, mine is off in the kitchen whining. I think he's hungry. <clears throat> so I might do that next week, potentially. <laughs> Midas. I don't know if you can hear Midas whining, but he whines very loudly. More streams, please? Yeah. We will do more streams. Uh, okay, so... Guri is doing marbles on stream. <laughs> if you want to watch that, uh, watch Serpin. She is doing 106% speedruns. Go watch Serpin. She's nice. So. with YouTube, which is unfortunate. But go head over there if you want to watch more Hollow Knight. If you want to watch Scurry, Scurry is doing marbles as well, which can be pretty fun. But yeah, thanks a lot so much, everyone, for all the support and for hanging out. Always really appreciate it. And uh, I will actually be releasing videos soon, I promise. I've got two that are kind of soon to come. <laughs> yep. Thanks, McKelly. Thanks for a bug and everyone. Hope you all have a wonderful day.